This video is related to the TempDB system database which is an important SQL Server uh, database and um, this TempDB system database uh, is a temporary workspace that uh, hold the uh, user objects that are created explicitly for example the global or local temporary tables global or lo local temporary tables when we are creating they are using the TempDB database and this is the syntax to create the local table we have to put the number sign uh, in front of the uh, table name and double this number sign or hash sign in front of the uh, table name then it will become the global uh, temporary table they will exist until the SQL server connection exists and after the connection is closed that these temporary tables will be dropped from the system or we can drive manually as well so they are using the temp uh, db database and uh, also the uh, database engine uh, also using the temp uh, db database for uh, 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 for some uh, if we are using the cursors or if we are using some kind of sorting in the queries or for if we are using this lobe uh, database uh, lobes uh, type then th this uh, this type will also use the uh, temporary database and for hash and aggregation operations uh, will also uh, uh, use the temporary system uh, temporary database this tempdb database uh, the, and when we are re rebuilding the indexes then that uh, they will also use the temporary uh, this uh, tempdb database so tempdb is very important if it is not configured properly then there will be a performance degradation in our uh, this workload so now we are going to check the physical properties of the tempdb uh, when we are going to check the this tempdb database for example uh, this is uh, the sql server if i am this is the these are all the system databases here is the tempdb database if i am going to check the properties and the files i can find here uh, these uh, these are that uh, these are the uh, data file tempdb data file and this is the log file so there is a primary data file which is the temp dev this is a mdf file and um, this have the initial size which is, uh, it will take by default from the model database and uh, this initial size is uh, we should have to define the properly because um, it reflect the performance uh, the initial size will we have to check what is how much is a workload in our uh, this um, uh, databases and uh, accordingly we have to define the this initial size and uh, also this is the auto growth if the size will be filled the uh, how much uh, si uh, what is the proportional size for the expand for the expansion of the tempdb file so we have to define the auto growth size also uh, and this there is the, the this is the primary mdf file there are the secondary mdf file also the scan there there can be more than one secondary data files and there is a ge general rule to uh, th for this secondary data files how many secondary data file will be there there is a rule general rule if the number of logical processor is less than or equal to it then they they use the same number of data files as logical processor for example if we have the eight logical processor then there may be there we can have the th eight uh, this uh, total uh, mdf files will be the eight if there are more than eight uh, logical processor then we, then that logical file should not exceed than the eight I, this is the general rule for example if i'm going to the sql server this uh, this is the uh, these are the properties of our tempdb database i can f see here there are eight temp uh, this tempdb uh, mdf files one two three four five six seven eight i have eight tempdb database files if i will go into the this uh, system property task manager i can find here that i have logical processor on this computer 8 so system has created 8 logical files these all are working in the parallel so this is a logic temp log file here i can define the uh, initial size i uh, according to the workload and i can also uh, set here the uh, growth how much will be the growth in megabytes or in percent i can define here also so these are the things we have to consider properly uh, as, as per our workload 
if the TempDB database size is not defined properly then we will face the performance degradation so the for to for the enhancement um, we have we have to consider these points uh, for the sizes on the physical placement of the tempdb database S this size should be the proper size set the file growth increment to a reasonable size if it will not be reasonable size if the size is very small then the system will always busy in expanding the tempdb database if our workload is more than the uh, size which we have defined then system will always busy in expanding the tempdb data da database and uh, this will consume the resources and it will, it will affect the performance and we will have the slow uh, pr processing of queries uh, and spill to the tempdb like these kinds of there will be the problems and the uh, the the files this uh, data file size should be equal in the one file group uh, this size should be the same size and uh, the t we have to put the temp db database on some uh, fast input output subsystems then the we will get the uh, performance enhancement and the temp db database should not be on the same uh, disk wherever uh, this user database exists so it should be on some different uh, uh, disks uh, fast input output disks so these are the some points which we have to consider to uh, get the efficient results